I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually a mini duffel bag. Nothing special about it, but I like to keep things simple and minimal. So let's get right into what we've got in here. Very first thing is I have this soft, like baby barefoot dreams blanket right here. This was actually a gift for Logan and we've just used it ever since. I think bringing a really big fluffy blanket like this is super helpful when you're doing skin to skin. I feel like the little hospital blankets are not warm enough to keep baby warm. So I like to put her on my skin and then I cover her with this on top of it. And I've gotten tons of use out of this. The other thing that are must haves, this actually comes from the hospital. So this is not what you would actually pack in there. But I wanted to remind you to bring this stuff home. These ready bath select bathing cloths have been awesome. My hospital did not have these last time, but if they have them, I totally recommend them. They're just super easy to wipe yourself down with after labor. These perineal cold packs, your hospital will most likely have something like this, but they are a must have. You basically just fold them and crack them and then put them in with your pad, which the hospital pads are the best. They're these big guys right here. And these are a must have as well. So I'm bringing some of those guys home as well as the mesh underwear. Some people don't like this because it doesn't hold you in as tight as like maybe some compression underwear. But personally, I love these because they don't hold me in as tight. And I find that holding me in tighter kind of hurts taking some of these guys home. The next thing I brought with me, it was a heating pad. So your hospital might have heating pads. Um, mine does this time, but last time they did not have heating pads. So I went ahead and brought my own here. I'm glad I did just because if I had needed it, then at least I have it. But I, ha I didn't need it this time because they actually had one available for me if I needed it. And I didn't end up needing it. This birth was a lot easier. If you guys have been following along on my Instagram, I did not tear with her. I tore with Logan and I've just had a lot less pain. I've been feeling a lot better. I don't feel super dizzy or anything like that. So good thing to bring, but I didn't need it this time. Another thing I have in here is this red dress and my underwear that I came in with. I actually love wearing a dress to the hospital and home. To the hospital for the reason of if your water breaks, at least you're in a dress and you're not in pants and sitting there with your water broken, you can easily tuck a towel in between your legs, which is what I did for Logan's birth because my water broke before I got to the hospital. With hers, they broke it at the hospital. But I also think just having a really easy swing dress, which is what this is, it's super easy to go home in. It's like flattering, you feel good, but also like you don't need a bunch of stuff touching you down there. I forgot to mention this guy from the hospital. These are the extra absorbent pads. They're kind of like Chuck's pads. They should have these in your room. Just take one or two of them home and they're great to sleep on for the first couple of nights if you're still bleeding really heavily. Then you won't bleed through onto your sheets, hopefully, as long as you don't soak through the Chuck's pad, which you should not be doing. Another must have to bring with you is a nursing bra if you plan on nursing or like what I'm wearing right under this one. Just like a really basic bralette. You can see it's got like the thin straps. It doesn't have any padding or anything like that, but it's easy to pull down. Obviously a hair brush, which I probably should brush my hair today. I did bring Derek one pair of clothes. So I brought him this shirt and then he also had like a pair of pants in there. He ended up going home just because we have Logan at home. Grandpa and grandma are watching Logan, but we wanted to keep things as normal as possible for him. So Derek is at home with him, but I just have his shirt in here and I brought him a shirt and a pair of pants and that's all he needed. And he actually didn't even end up needing that. Dermaplast, this is essential, but this, I actually didn't even open this because I did not tear this time and I really don't feel like I need this. But when I did tear, I was living off of this stuff. So I highly suggest grabbing it. Got a second degree tear with Logan and this was essential. The next two things that I have here is just a little pajama set. I have a pair of like really easy, non-form fitting shorts and then the shirt, which has buttons down it. It's just, come on in. Thank you, you can just sit right there. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you so much. You too. Just literally a basic pair of pajama sets, but I love that it buttons down for nursing. By the way, my lunch just got delivered. I got a tortilla, a gluten-free tortilla with like hummus and tofu and like a whole wrap, but they made my tortilla last night as like a burrito. I have to make it myself today, so that's okay. Next thing that is so essential, snacks. Um, I actually ate most of my snacks. If you guys followed me over on my Instagram, I loved those dang Thai rice crisps. I got them on Thrive. Also got these on Thrive. 
and also got these on Thrive, these Unreal Dark Chocolate Covered Peanuts, and these ones are the Lara Bar Kids Cinnamon Swirl. Tastes like a cinnamon coffee cake. I'll leave my link to Thrive Market down below, and I believe if you use my link, it's still 25% off your first order plus a free gift, but if it's not that, then it's some other kind of promo, and it'll tell you on the page what it is, but we love Thrive, you guys know that. But I'll leave it linked down below in case you're looking for something similar. The next thing that I brought was just this little white stretchy swaddle. This is by Meeby Baby. I wanted this for pictures, so I haven't used it yet because I haven't taken her pictures yet. We'll take them before we leave. This guy will be perfect for pictures. Also for pictures, I brought some options because I wasn't sure which one I would want her to wear. So I have this black baby onesie. This is in the size newborn. It's by Baby Breeze. And this is the one that Logan actually went home in, which I thought which was super sweet. And then I just paired it with this like copper bow, super soft. Haven't even put a bow on her yet, oh my gosh. I also brought this outfit with a white bow. I got these bows in a huge pack on Amazon for like under 10 bucks, I think it was. It may have been on sale, but I'll link it down below for you. And then I also grabbed this little sleepy. This is in the size preemie. These run really big, but these are just like bamboo clothing and they're so comfy. So I grabbed this one for sis and I think it's just so sweet. And then the white bow to go with this one. And that's it as far as what's in my hospital bag that I already took out. The rest of the stuff that I have in there is just extras of like those ice packs and stuff that I'm bringing home, but I did bring a toiletry bag with me, so I wanna show you what I put in there. I also have like a hair tie, I brought two hair ties. Essential, you guys, essential. I also brought my water bottle here. You don't necessarily need to bring a water bottle. I think most of them have like that big jug water bottle for you with like the straw. I got that one as well. And then in my cosmetic bag, I just brought a couple of things of makeup. I really don't put much makeup on daily, so I just brought my five minute makeup routine, which is just some mascara, some eyebrow pencil, some bronzer, some blush, and then the brushes to go with that. And then my sunscreen since we are leaving today. So I did put this on. I also brought a travel size of the Purology shampoo and conditioner or whatever travel size shampoo and conditioner that you want. Deodorant, my toothbrush, and a little mini travel toothpaste. And then the rest of the stuff that's in here is literally a million hair ties. I'm telling you, hair ties are essential, especially in labor, but also grabbed and have been living off of this stuff. It's the Wish Garden After Ease. And Thankfully, I kept my one from Logan as well. I almost threw it away because it just has barely any left in it, but my nurse accidentally knocked over my new one. Like I had used it once, you guys, and it was the big bottle, and I was left with like maybe a fourth of it left. Thankfully, I had that fourth of it, but basically this just helps with the cramps that will come when you're breastfeeding. Even if you decide not to breastfeed, you're still gonna get the cramps because it's your uterus trying to contract back down. Highly recommend this as long as you talk to your doctor and it's all good, but I just do about four droppers of this into, into some ice water and chug it, and it really does make a difference. It really does help. And that's all I have in my toiletry bag. I like to keep it simple because you have to remember when you're done with this stuff, you do have to unpack it and clean it. And I don't want like a big to-do list when I get home, especially after having a baby. So I wanted to keep it simple and easy. The last thing that I brought that was totally essential was this guy right here. I'll have it linked down below. It's just like a little travel sound machine. It also has a nightlight on it, which has been super helpful for in the middle of the night when I'm nursing her. I don't wanna turn it off because I don't want her to wake up with it being turned off, but you can tie it to anything with this little string tie that it comes with, or you can hook it on a ring like this. Well worth it. This can go with you like in a plane afterwards or on the stroller. Like it doesn't just have to be for the hospital, but it was totally essential to have here. So I'm so glad I brought this. Oh yes, a last thing that I brought and was essential. Well, actually let's start with what I'm wearing. So this button down nurse, like it's not a nursing gown, but it works perfectly for nursing. This button down night, gown, button down nightgown. Is that how you would say that? Amazing. I've worn this the entire time. As soon as they let me take off the gown, pretty much like after I was done being in labor and after I was done giving birth, because that's when you get all the gross stuff on you. I got out of the gown, took a shower, and then put this guy on and it's been on me ever since. It's super easy because they have access to your diaper area down here when you're wearing your mesh underwear. And then you can also unbutton it to nurse baby. You can also unbutton it further to do skin to skin, which is super important as well. And then flip flops. Mine are actually hidden under the bed, so I'm not gonna reach for those, but flip flops are essential. You wanna wear those around the room and then you wanna wear them in the shower as well. And that is literally it, you guys. That is like, I bring the bare minimum 
minimum that I can. Even some of the stuff they provide for you, but it's like bringing my own water bottle. I just wanted to make sure like if I didn't get admitted that I would still have water on the way back home and things like that. But other than that, I've got this sweet little baby girl right here and uh, we just had the best experience. I thank the Lord like every second that I get for the amazing birth experience that we had. I think prayer was a huge part of it. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you have any favorites that you had in your hospital bag that I didn't include, leave them down in the comments below so we can help out other mamas and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, something I wanted to mention that I forgot. <laughs> I actually brought this with my first labor and really ended up needing it. I didn't end up needing it this, this time, thankfully, but it was in the trunk of the car. It's just a little mini stroller fan. I had bought it like for the stroller and brought it with me for my labor. And thankfully I did because I started overheating in Logan's labor and which caused me to panic because I had an epidural and couldn't move and it was essential. So if you are going to get a little stroller fan anyways, grab it before you give birth and throw it into your hospital bag. Highly recommend.